this next song was written in Berlin. And if you go to Berlin now, if you have the chance, uh, or if you have in the last 10 years or so, you would catch a city that's very much uh, kind of a, a center of gravity, in a way. There's a lot of uh, forces that are being pulled toward that city right now. And it makes it a very attractive place for live, to live for like young people, artists, startups. It's vibrant. A bit like Seattle or San Francisco. Maybe Portland. We'll see. <laughs> That's what they said. Um, but. <laughs> oh, yeah, Prime Bill as well, for sure. <laughs> this, is, uh, this is the next Silicon Valley, I can feel. <laughs> I know, that's why I know, that's why I didn't even mention it, because it was like, we don't want that. Come on, we're trying to escape that. Yeah. Berlin is like uh, Silicon Valley, but about the tenth of the price, so that's a good thing. Um, but there's a different thing about Berlin that I wanted to talk about, which is not this positive, attracting center of gravity, but actually this kind of scar that's there. This, this darkness that you feel from its history. Because 45 years ago, if you were in Berlin, there would be a wall that cut through the very heart of that city. And depending on which side of that wall you were living on, you were kind of conditioned to act, be, and think in a very specific way. And on one side of the wall in particular, if you had thoughts or ideas that were contrary to the conditioning, it could have meant your life. It could have been very bad for you. And so people started to hide things about themselves. They started to pretend that, that the... They weren't thinking what they were thinking. They hid things from their family, from their friends, from their society, from their neighbors, from everyone. But they put on a mask. And so this song is about that mask. It's about being on your face. It's about knowing that it's there. It starts to drive you crazy. Because there's something that you feel is wrong with the world around you, and you can't say anything about it. And so you kind of have to decide for yourself if you'll walk around in kind of mask conformity, or if you'll take that mask off and shout from the rooftops and the song is called The Grand Masquerade. They're the best backup singers in the world. <laughs>
Buenas.